Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back. As you guys may have heard tonight, I actually got an IMDb page on IMDb, so that's pretty cool. And we do have um, guests Ryan Austin and Chris Fortin. Wow. Yeah, hello, y'all. To celebrate, I'm going to be doing my entire VHS collection part one. I usually am, guys, I usually end up forgetting to continue my VHS collection. I'm going to try to. I'm gonna try to remember to show is all of my last, VHSs is this it time. To, is it the last one for the VHS tape? Uh, we're, what we're doing is just me just showing like just my entire collection. So let's go ahead and get started. This is gonna take gonna like long, long, a long, long time. Many, many parts. So let's get with the first shelf. Cradle to the grave. And, and guys, tell me what you guys' thoughts are, and uh, like if you have this tape, or if you want, if you have anything else to say, just let me know. Okay, let's start with the collection. White sticker label, printed on July eighteenth, two thousand three. By any chance, Ryan, could you maybe post some of my YouTube videos on there? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm trying. To oh, thanks, man. Okay, we got a passage to India. Blockbuster date is May 26, 1996. Yeah, Chris Gordon, what's wrong with your, uh, what, what's all with that noise? I can hear. Printed in the 34th week of 1985. Girl Interrupted. Winner, 1999 Academy Award. Oh, this is bad. What? I know, I heard. 39th week of 2000. I don't want to talk about it. Disney, you're, Disney, you're nothing but a dumbass. Oh, God, fuck modern Disney. Here's Stir Crazy. It's printed in the 40... What week? 46th week of 1984. I think I just spotted it. Fulmerantle from Village Vidiot. That's a weird name. A Lion in the Streets. Are there any 2006 and 2007 VHSs in there? Uh, we'll, we'll get there, man. I promise. We'll get there, man. We're not there yet. August 30th, 1992 and August 11th, 1992. Yes. Bridge on the River Kauai. I don't think he does. September 10th, 1986, and <clears throat> printed in the 37th week of 1986. What, Chris? Uh, what, man? I'm not. I'm having trouble hearing what you're saying. Why did I turn my what off? Oh, I don't. I can hardly even hear Chris. I don't know what he's saying. Alright, here's volume one of Lee Trevino's Priceless Golf Tips Volume 1. Guys, we're having some problems on Facebook right now. Sorry for the 
issues. And Chris, I'm not trying to talk over you like to be rude or anything. I just have to get this video. Yeah, I want to continue this video if that's okay. This is volume one. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Paramount 75th anniversary. Volume one, copyright 1987. Keep improving. Never give up. I guess it's really, that's like the message of this. Is it Chris or is it me? Me. Oh. Ah, oh, Chris left a call. Damn. Uh, printed in, printed on uh, September twenty third, nineteen eighty nine, I think. Oh yeah, I think it is. And it's printed in the wait fourth week in nineteen eighty nine. Hang on. The new Pixar movie got delayed. Oh wait, no, January twenty third, nineteen eighty nine. Ah, that makes a little more sense. January 23rd, 1989, 4th, 1989. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I had the wrong year. That's what happened. What? I mean, the wrong day, the not year. Yeah, I know. Onward. Not interested in that either. That's modern day Disney. That's just my opinion. Oh, if you guys are interested no. in it, that's fine. I can I, I can handle your opinion. Fine. Okay, we got Risky Business. And it's court produced with... Uh, Geffron... Pick... Companies? Uh, I mean, uh, Gaffron Company? The Gaffron Company? Whatever you call it. However you call it. I've, I only have a handful of movies with that. Alright. Risky Business. Printed. <clears throat> sorry. October 16th, 1993, and October the 11th, 1993. Five days apart. Okay, we got Two of a Kind, 20 Fox Selections. Yeah, guys, I actually have my own IMDb page now. By the way, even though on 9DB it says July 19, 2012, it's actually July 18, 2012. It's the day before. Yeah. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. Printed in 1995. This will probably have the white screen of death again. Uh, what, Ryan? Hang on, let me turn it up. Oh, no, it's up all the way. Damn it. Why can't I hear you so well, then? It's rated TVMA, by the way, guys. Yeah, Tyler Treasure 2 is back. My YouTube channel is rated TVMA, according to IMDb. Yes. 1959, that's my five. Dead bang. Even though my VHS videos are for all ages. At least to me. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Oh, and guys, by the way, my collection's like very massive now. I have over 3,000 tapes. So guys, just so you guys know, like maybe a fraction of these I might be getting rid of because I because I might want to because I want to save I want to get you know have more space for stuff I want more. And like this this is one one tape I might just get rid of someday. Number seventy down. I might not keep this for very long. Some of these tapes, uh, just a, just some of these tapes, I might be getting rid of. Of course, not all of them. Just some of these tapes. I'm showing you guys tapes I have at the moment. Even though I will have these, will, there's a lot more tapes I'll keep than get rid of. October twenty fifth, nineteen ninety five. True grit. There's the tape. Paramount 75th anniversary. Yes. And per date, August 20th, 1989. Unfortunately, it's broken right here. See, guys, I guess the tape fell once from his previous owner, from the previous owner, and it just fell on the ground and and, and like uh, hard on the hard floor, you know, hard floor, and broke out that piece. Ah, well, tape still works anyway, so it doesn't matter. Per day, August twentieth, nineteen eighty nine, amperin the forty first week of nineteen eighty nine.
Yes. A big old kapow! Harvey Weinstein, screw him. Exactly, so Harvey won't get out of his uh, 25 years in prison, 23, 25 years in prison, something like that. Mm -hmm. Hearts and Atlantis. Oh, God, I hate modern day Disney's. You already know, you guys already know. Well, very well, very loudly. <laughs> oh God, don't get me started on that one. <laughs> anyway, so here's the ink label: Corp producer Castle Rock and Village Roadshow, Hearts and Atlantis, December tenth, two thousand two. We got Forrest Gump. It's a two thousand three reprint. Town three reprint, printing a ticket town three. However, this has the white screen F for a second at the end. For some reason, Star Trek The Next Generation, Yesterday's Enterprise. Uh, air date, February 19th, week, the week of February 19th, 1990. This is episode 63 of Star Trek The Next Generation. Stick a label, end label, it's put it in the... 24th, thinking that's 1995. This does have the white screen of death at the end. Click and tone. I'll do the ending. I mean, I'll do the closing of that one sometime. Not the ending. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of the same thing. Um, they're going to be included in my VHS collection. I might do them separately another day. Kings of Comedy. Yeah, you did that, but you kept delaying it. And there's the tape, MTV, and Latham Entertainment. 19th week of 2001. I heard this is a pretty funny movie. Radar for language and sex-related humor. Mission Impossible widescreen edition. Oh, wow. It's printed in the 48th week of 1996. The idiots at YouTube deserve this. I agree. <laughs> you know, like the YouTube CEO. The people in charge, pretty much. Yeah, unlike Harvey Weinstein. Here's a demo tape of Benefit of the Doubt. Co-producer Miramax and uh, Monument Pictures. Not familiar with that company. What? Oh God, the founder of Miramax. No. Oh, that's Harvey Weinstein. Don't get me started. We just talked about him not long ago. Fuck him. Fuck you, Harvey. White Street App Printings. It's printed in the 48th week of 1993. Yes, I know. <laughs> we got What's Ian Gilbert Grape. Okay. Here's a sticker label. And label. And it's printed in the sixth week of 1997. A lot of writing on the sticker label. Brady Bunch movie. This was $1.95. According to the box, anyway. I got it for cheaper than that, probably, though. I got it for, like, 50 cents to a dollar, because I got it over at Art Thrift Store. Guys, Art Thrift Store is closed right now, so I can't get any taped. I, I can't have my v I can't do another VHS update till the yeah, coronavirus the weekends, guys. So, yeah. We're actually waiting a lot longer than usual. Blame the coronavirus, COVID-19, on that for me not... For me having a shortage of VHS updates to, uh, this year. A lot less than usual. There's the end label, which is pretty torn up. Printed in the 26th week of 1995. 
Hopefully sometime in the next year or so, the coronavirus goes away. What were you going to say? Yes, I know. You already said that. I already said, yes, I will. Okay. We got In Love and War. Kendra Bullock is a pretty good actor, in my opinion. So, but I have not seen this movie, but I'll give it a go since it's Sandra Bullock. June 25th, 2001 and June 20th, 2001. By the way, Mission Possible is a good movie. Same with What's Ian Gilbert Great. That's another good movie. Forrest Gump's a good movie. Um, there are some other good movies in my collection. Some I haven't seen, though, as well. Yes, I agree with that. Fuck that movie, the Emoji Movie. I also watched the Nostalgia Critics review on it not too long ago. I agree with him. It freaking sucks. Here's Finders Keepers, a.k.a. Doug Walker. Here's the sticker label. Oh, wait. Key Video MGM. Key Video Tapes with MGM. That's pretty hard to find. That, those are actually pretty hard to find. So, yeah, that's cool. I actually do have one. I wasn't sure if I had one or not. I do have one. Okay, we got Utilities, Big V, the strong video. What? Check the credits if, if it's a mirror match. Okay. Okay, we got Tom and Jerry's The Night Before Christmas program. Uh, no, it's not international import. You may have gotten mixed up. <laughs> oh yeah, I do have the German VHS of this with that cover. That's probably what you got mixed up with. I do have the German VHS of this, actually. Running time, 45 minutes. 1935 to 1943. Um, specials on here. The programs on here are the, caption, the, captain's, uh, the Captain's Christmas, pardon me, from 1938. Toyland Broadcast from 1935. One Ham's Family from 1943. And The Nightmare, I mean, The Night Before Christmas from 1941. Coverage to Turner, single label, per date, October 23rd, 1991. All right, we got that out of the way. We got, uh, so, uh, when you hear this. Okay, have you seen the movie yeah. The Internship? Uh, have I seen the movie what? The Internship. No, I have not seen it. Well, guess what it has in the special effects. What? I mean, what does it have? Is credited as special thanks in the movie. Oh dear, I did not know that. Uh. Yeah, credited in a I know, man. Ugh, ah well, you know. To be honest, uh, it's not like she was an actor or anything, or actress. Pardon me. Um. Fabulous Cartoons, Funnies Volume 2, six full hours. All of these, six full hours. Yeah, guys, six hours of Cartoon Volume 2. Yeah! Yeah, okay. I'll show you right now. See? Found it at Ark. It's from Transatlantic, I mean, Transatlantic Video Inc. Whatever that company is. Inc. is obviously short for Incorporated. What? Is that yeah, I think it is. Okay, uh, we got Lean on Me. Spine, top, back. What? Okay, per date is December 14th, 1997. I'm sure pretty shortly we'll see a Miramax tape. Oh my gosh, I do see a Miramax tape shortly. We're getting the one, um, seven tapes from now. Adventure of the Model Notice. RCA Columbia, 16th week in 1993. And guys... On tapes, I have a lot of duplicates of. I'm going to get rid of maybe one or two in, uh, duplicates of a couple of these. Drop a Jack Flash. Oh, wait. 
Uh, no, I didn't say Town 7 VHS. I said uh, for certain ones. You know, certain tapes I have like a lot of duplicates of. Oh, yeah, that one I am giving up. I'm giving that one to, I think, Tomcat Productions, was it? If I remember correctly, I'll have to look and see if that's correct. 39th, freaking 1999. Pretty sure it is. We got Bringing Out the Dead, Nicolas Cage. October 30th, 2000, Touchstone and Paramount. Spider-Man 2 Spider-Verse. I've not seen it, but I hear great things about it. Plan to see it. This movie looks good, but I don't think I've seen this film. This For this movie. I haven't seen Spider-Man into Spider-Verse either. It's printed in the... What what week in your code? 15 freaking 2000. Okay. Here is a really, really good movie. The Truman Show with Jim Carrey. I like this movie. CHC copy. Pretty good movie. I've seen it before. Birthday March 4th, 1999, CHC copy. Yeah, we're, we're, we might be getting that one sometime soon, too. We're probably getting, I think we're getting to that one soon, also. We got A Boy Called Hate. This is another one of those Paramount demo tapes. Second for the, the second one yet. Go ahead. It was supposed to be rated NC-17. Holy smokes! But then it turned out to be, I think, R-rated? Or was it PG-13? I think it's R. No, no, no. They tried it five times. They got the NC-17, but they got the R-rated. Oh. Yeah, they didn't want to get the R-rated. Oh. 12th week in 1996. This is another panel demo tape. Yeah, that second... Uh, the second on, for, this, for uh, this part, I guess you could say, but... I was meaning to say, like, for my collection by far. I don't know. Like, you know, maybe I said it the best I could. Here's Clue the Movie. I'm going to do the closing this tape soon. 29th, we can not tonight. Five, Watch Gonna Death, barcode. We got <clears throat> White Christmas. 1954 movie. It's probably 40th, we can not tonight. Two. Ah. I might be getting rid of this tape. I don't really want it. I already have a 1985 pressing. I think I'll just... That's one of the tapes I might just get rid of. Music of the Heart demo tape. Okay, here, come, here it comes. Miramax! Miramax! Music of the Heart demo. Okay, but I, there's no end credits on the back, though. No end credits on the back, though. Because it's a demo tape. January 17th, 2000. Next, we got a... Uh, dude, I can't. It's on the back. Well, uh, the back... It's not on the back because it's a demo tape, I meant to say. Yeah. We got Fox Searchlight Pictures, The Good Thief, Electronic pr Press Kit. Um, and the date on it says March 22nd, 2003. Yeah. There's a sticker label. But that's Fox Searchlight, the one I'm showing right now. We're talking about Miramax, guys, just so you guys know. That one, that was to the Miramax CEO, Harvey Weinstein, who actually is was who is actually found guilty of rape. Fuck him. You don't do that. Rape is against the law to rape somebody. No per date. Yeah, even those corrupt people wouldn't do that. And this tape's only 52 minutes and 18 seconds long. It does not have the movie on it before you say that's way too short. <laughs> yeah, it's because it doesn't have the movie on it. In fact, this is what it has on it. It says right here. Anyways, guys, uh, what it has on it is the theatrical trailer. The featurette texted, the featurette textless, film clips, and then uh, watch his face, always play the game to the limit, the good thief, that's okay kid, of course I'm in, you've got a home, knight in shining armor, what's his game, monster, monster Bob, use your imagination, selected sound bites, and unedited b-roll. And then the lengths, how long these are. Uh, 
two minutes, seven seconds, six minutes, five seconds. Give me a minute. Six, six minutes, five seconds, 57 seconds, 57 seconds, one minute, 13, one minute, 18, one minute, 24, 53 seconds, one minute, nine, 42 seconds, one minute, one, 25 minutes, 52 seconds, five minutes and 37 seconds. So yeah, that, that's, that, those are the running times on it, um, what's on it. And you guys can add it up if you guys want to know how long that is. Maybe I'll add it up later. Maybe I'll, I'll let you guys know later if you guys are too lazy to or something. What? I would, I would be like, before I start this video, middle finger to Harvey Weinstein. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay, man. Next up, we got House of Fools. This is actually a Russian movie. I haven't seen it. Paramount Classics. Russian language with e with English subtitles. There's a sticker label. Please remember to rewind. Put it in the 39th figure 2003. What? Almost Famous. This has uh, Golden Globes. Uh, two, go two Golden Globes, excuse me, including Best Picture. Over 150 critics agree that it's one of the top 10 films of the year. Almost Famous. August 21st and July 18th, 2001. Okay, we got... Are you ready? Here is an extremely rare Paramount demo tape that's uh, DVD only. An Inconvenient Truth, A Global warm Warning. Look at this! Okay. Let's see. Street Day, November, November 21st, 2006. Quarter off, off, I mean, cut off date. Blech, sorry. Uh, October 10th, 2006. Co producer Paramount Classics and Jordan participant. In there with what? Uh, is it, is it in there? No. I think it's off to the side somewhere. Ink label, July 14th, 2006. Very rare Paramount Dental, DVD only, it says on the back. Sudden Death with Van Damme. The 18th week of 1999. Hi, Sierra. Heat. Special widescreen edition. Blackbridge date, July 4, 10, 4. Eh, this is another tape I might just donate. March 30th, 1998, and May 29th, 1996. So part 2 is the original pressing, while Part 1 is a letterbox uh, reprint. Go on. Uh, I don't know. It looks like more than before. I'll let you know when we get to a Miramax one. We got The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler and Chris Rock. This is an okay movie in my opinion. It's an okay movie. March 2nd, 2006. True Grit. There's a print date. October 2nd, 1990. Breakfast at Tiffany's. I also have a UK VHS of this. We'll get to that later on. This is the American version. May 1st, 1991. And 
Printed in the 19th week of 1991, I think it says. Or is it the 18th? It's either the 18th or 19th week of 1991. It's kind of hard to tell. I think it's I think it's the 19th, probably. Maturian Candidate. Forty seventh week of two thousand four. I guess I had a Hollywood video label right there, but it came off. We got Titanic. I don't have the widescreen version of this, but I have this version. I'm gonna try to get the widescreen version sometime. Yeah, I still don't have that tape. Still label. June twenty first, nineteen ninety eight. And here's this. June twenty second, nineteen ninety eight. Uh, what? I'm going to call Harvey, uh, Harvey Shitstein. Harvey Shitstein. Yes, that's really is what he is. Yeah, I'm, like, uh, I'm going to be surprised to see if he rapes a teenage girl. Got sunshine? Oh, yeah. No, no to that. I wouldn't be surprised either. He's a piece of crap. We got sunshine. Here's another demo, demo tape from Paramount. Um, Street Day, May 8th, 2001. I know. Uh, Paramount Classics, Elias Alanis. I guess it's a Canadian movie. Hang on, give me a minute. Kino Welt, that's a foreign company. And it looks like some other companies, including Tele Telefilm Canada. What? What? Oh, yeah. Um, part 1 and Part 2. December 8th, 2000 on both. And the 6th week of Tau 1 on both. I don't know why. The per day and week in your code don't match up. That's weird. Some of them... I noticed that some of them don't match up for some reason. Ah, well. It's, a, it's still a, a per day and week in your code. Nevertheless. What? Okay. Pure country. March 26th on one. If this has the boring shield at the beginning, I'm going to donate it. But if it has TG shield, I'll keep it. I haven't checked. Saturday Night Live. 1991. I have a lot of Saturday Night Live tapes. That I got um, a few months ago, anyway. Uh... August 8, 1998. No, it's not from CBS Fox. It's from Time Life Video, I believe. Okay, we got a couple clamshells. Disney's Best, The Fabulous 1950s. Cartoon Classics, Limited Gold Edition. Yes, I know. This was back when they were good. Back when they were good. Stick a label. I still collect the old Disney, even though I hate modern day Disney. I'm still going to collect old Disney tapes, of course. They're very hard to find. May 15th, 1984. This is the Disney I use, that I like. Not the new crap. We got 1982 VHS of Paradise. Look at that, Embassy Home Entertainment 1982 VHS. One of the very first Embassy tapes ever made. Go on, sorry I cut you off. Here's the tape. The end label. Have you heard of the 1986 movie Plane for Oh, and guys, just one more thing. Uh, before before uh, Ryan, Ryan, give me a moment, please. Um, guys. Whoever whoever made my IMDb page on IMDb. Thank you to whoever made it. Anyways, what now, Ryan? Hello? Ryan? Oh, by the way, guys, it's actually 1224 a.m.
Uh, I guess... Did he have to go? Maybe he had to go. Huh. Sorry about that, guys. And by the way, guys, it's midnight. It's now April 14th. April 13th through April 14th, I'm going to put in the title. John Candy, who is Harry Crumb? Corporation TriStar. At least he was on for a little bit. 18th of 1990, Morning Sound Barcode. I'm going to be making probably up to like three or four parts tonight. Or maybe more if I feel really feel like it. Bad Influence. Sticker label. It says 3381 right there. It's printed in the 34th week of 1990. This was one of my grandma tape, grandma's tapes. So yeah, I'll keep that one. Yeah, guys, the reason why this cord is here because I had to plug, I had to plug in my phone. Yeah, I had to plug into my phone uh, using my outlet right there. So yeah, here's Dr. Seuss's "The Five Thousand Fingers of Dr. T" promotional copy. Yes, another. I mean, uh, wait, or is this my first RCA Columbia demo? I think it's actually my first RCA Columbia demo I showed in this video. I mean, and in my collection. Per date on it is March 18, 1991. The very right side of the end label is, uh, like, torn, but still. Still not, not in bad shape. Apocalypse Now. Co-produced with Zootropy Zoot Studios. 20th of Town 2, 2002 reprint. Legend of Bagger Vance. Car produced with 20th Century Fox. November 2nd, 2001, and October 31st, 2001. They got the boat. July 24th, 1990, in the 31st week of 1990. We got Paris When It Sizzles. CHC copy. Paramount, Paramount 75, uh, Paramount 75th anniversary, I meant. CHC. You guys are not going to believe this. It legit says the 33rd week of 1993 on the top. What? Paramount 75, Paramount 75th anniversary? I thought that was like 1989 or 1988. What? What? According to this, it's, it says, but, but the week of your code's 1993, 33rd week of 1993, and I'm not kidding. It says 333 at the top. This is like a, this is almost like a recycle tape. Like it had the original labels, but end up being a reprint still. They just didn't update the labels for whatever reason. Oscar's Greatest Moments. January 17, 1992, and the fourth thing in 1992 has the official rules. And then uh, the sweepstakes. And those were the uh, prizes that people won Kit Kat wafer bars, and uh, uh, along with the uh, Sony. 32-inch uh, television with remote control. And then, um, uh, oh, yeah, the prize won was a trip to the 1993 Oscars presentation with a lim, lim, a lim usine to drive you to the door. Three nights and four days stay. Airfare and transfers included. And then state-of-the-art Sony VHS Hi-Fi stereo VCRs with remote control. And then, obviously, the third place one was Millions and the Kit Kat Wafer Bar. Yep. Thanks for playing. Please try again. <laughs> and then, basically, you put your name, your address, city, state, zip code on there. And the winner is... Open and look for the winner's circle. Yep. Definitely keeping that. And it has... Um... A page or so of rules. Pretty cool. Found this over at a thrift store near uh, Video Outlet. I mean, not Video Outlet. Uh, 
Book Outlet back when they had VHS tapes. But Book Outlet, before you guys ask, don't have VHS tapes anymore. So, unfortunately, I haven't gone since. I haven't gone there in years, though. Um, last time I went there was years ago. Monty Pythons, and now for something completely different. King Supers Entertainment Center. September 24th, 1986, and the 43rd week of 1986. Seems like old times. What year is this movie? 1980 Rest Star Films. October 22nd, 1990, and the 44th week of 1990, I think. The Last Castle. July 17th, down 2, and June 20th, to down 2. Almost a month apart. Just a few days off from being a month apart. Three days. Ghostbusters. Printed in the 47th week in 1986. We got South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Hang on a minute. I'm trying to put the top back in there. There. Sticker label, October 28th, 1999. Print date copy. Also, a week in year code copy, which we'll be getting to a uh, little later. Steel Magnolias, TriStar, and Rest Star. Printed in the sixth week of 1991. Star Trek The Undiscovered Country. It's printed in the 31st week of 1995. Wicked Year Code is actually on the barcode, which is very odd. This does have the widescreen F clicking tone at the end. Here's a descriptive video service VHS Top Gun. My first descriptive video service uh, VHS tape for uh, my collection so far. Well, I do have more, but I mean, I'm meaning like, you know, um, first one I'm showing for part one, you know, or the first I've shown in my collection on uh, in my VHS collection, uh, new series. Print it on, let me see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I just remembered. There's no print date or we can year code on it. That's right. And it comes with Braille. Basically for the blind, so they could feel what the title is. Customer survey. Sorry, hang on. Descriptive video service is from Boston, Massachusetts. Full life screening cassette of the quest. Street date December September seventeenth, nineteen ninety six. Not December. Twenty seventh of nineteen ninety six. The Witches of Eastwick. March 6, 1989. March 3rd, 1989. Three is apart. One of the very last Warner Bros. tape to have the black screen at the end. I'm not even kidding. This actually has it. Despite being pretty kind of late. A little late. A little later than most of them. Along came a spider. You know, most with the black tree death, I mean. Twenty 
25th of Catan 3, and I actually found a UK style print date over here as well from June 22nd, 2003. So June 22nd, 2003, and the 25th of Catan 3. Print date and we can your code on that one. Touring Ireland. I do also collect touring tapes. This is uh, one of them I have. Inclable has blue printings, but I don't. I can't spot a printing. Widescreen edition of Forrest Gump, which won six Academy Awards. This is a fantastic movie. Thirty uh, third week of 1996. Adams Family. McDonald's pressing. 23rd week of 1993. Flash you that barcode. The Terminator collection. Terminator 1, Terminator 2. This is another one I might donate if I if I get a chance. Yeah, I might just donate this one as well. 39th week of 1996. I already have plenty of copies of those movies. I'll probably get rid of those too. Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy. December 6, 2004. Caseless copy of The Incredible Journey. March 4, 1999. Mr. Nice Guy with Jackie Chan. 1998 National Theatrical Release. Oh yeah, Jackie Chan is a comedian for sure. I really do like Jackie Chan. I mean, he's a he's a great action star, I meant, you know. I actually got mixed up with Chris Tucker for a second. He's a comedian. Jackie Chan is just is just a, a, a really badass action guy. <laughs> May 3rd, Town 1. April 21st, Town 1. We got Popeye. Canadian copy. Has a Canadian rating on it. April 7th, 2001. Jurassic Park. Another uh, tape I'm probably going to get rid of. 20th of the for my very first copy. I, I don't want it anymore. It's just a boring barcode, so... Yeah, that's probably going to go as well. Outbreak. January 31st, 1996. Roger and Me. June 6, 1990. And the other print date, I think, is ruined. Unfortunately. Quiet Man, June 26, 1992, and May 20th, 1992, 40th Anniversary Edition, comes with a, kind of like a poster card for the movie, What? how old is this movie? How long is it? 40th anniversary, 1992. So that is 1952. Came out in 1952. MCA video cassette ink release of the Electric Horseman. Uh, Former until from Emmett, one video. Caseless copy of Heavyweights, July 12th, 1995. Ultra Rare Town 6 Platinum Edition VHS of Laying a Tramp. This is a Disney Movie Club tape. Ink label Black Reels, May 22nd, 2006. Twisted. Thirty second week of town five. Braveheart, Mel Gibson. CHC copy in both. Uh, June nineteenth and hang on, wait. Uh, June tenth, nineteen ninety six, and June nineteenth, nineteen ninety six. June tenth and June nineteenth, nineteen ninety six. Nine days apart. Judgment in Berlin, 
a New Line Cinema release. This has uh, either Moaning Sound at the end or nothing at the end. I don't remember which one. Forty first week of nineteen eighty eight. There is no why screw to death, which I know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uptown Saturday night, Hollywood video. July seventeenth, nineteen eighty eight, nineteen seventy four movie. Houseboat and Catch a Thief UK VHS. Found this in my Arc Thrift store, believe it or not. Long time ago. I decided why not pick it up? They are not to be sold separately. See? Here are my week and year code Titan my week and year code Titanic VHS two tape set VHS thirty fourth thick enough ninety eight and this one also has the exact same week and year code and the same sticker label only with only with the two instead of the one best travels in Europe Italy It shows Rome, Italy, Venice, Italy, Florence, Italy, and some travel tips. 80 minutes in length. Ink label. 262nd day of 2001. Uh, Nutty Professor with Eddie Murphy. 39, figure 96, born barcode. Gonna get rid of it, probably. I have the demo tape as well. I'll keep this one. 35th, figure 96. Bicentennial Man. One time I accidentally damaged the film strip on this one. I think it was by accident. Unfortunately, it is a bit damaged. May 15th, 2000. Touchstone and Columbia Pictures movie. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein in black and white. 85 minutes. To go label. Watch Gare Printings. 39 Thick and Night 3. Child's Play 2. Alum Freak of 1991. Far and Away. Reprint from the third week of town, too. Even though it still has MCA Universal on the sticker label. They got South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. This is the copy of the week in your code. Block was date, March 8th, 2000. 44th week of 1999. Snow Day 2000 VHS. The Colonial Movies. 34th week of 2000. Stand By Me. Birthday and week in your code. December 14, 1988, and the 51st week in 1988. My cousin Vinny, which I also have a demo tape of. 21st week in 1993. Watch Get Up barcode. Walt Disney Magic and Comedy Review. I believe I also have a clamshell copy of this, which we'll get to later. October 15th, 1985. Well, that clamshell copy actually is a different print date. Blade, promotional use only. October 8th, 1998. Time to kill. This is actually a bootleg. It has a bootleg Cheesy Shield sticker label. It's a bootleg copy. Victory, 75th anniversary. Warner Brothers logo. Inklable, December 29, 1997. Two more tapes for this part. 
for this uh, for this uh, bit right here. Jurassic Park, 35th week in that time, 4 Western Dead Printings. All right, stay tuned for part 2.